Hi folks, welcome back to the Tony Thrasher channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how you can test a capacitor to see if it's bad. You will need to be able to disconnect the power and confirm with a reliable meter that the power has been disconnected before proceeding. Here are my gauge readings. You can see this is what I had even with the outdoor fan running. It did not change uh, when I turned the breaker off. Okay, on the Fluke 1587, you turn it on over to, you see, here's where the capacitance is at. To select the blue section, you have to hit the blue button and see it jump up to microfarads. And that's how we check capacitance in the capacitor. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, check to see what microfarads this particular capacitor has. So the first thing you want to do is you want to uh, discharge the capacitor. Take a screwdriver, put it across both terminals just to make sure that you would discharge any uh, leftover electrical charge that may be inside the capacitor. I'm going to pull one wire off and kind of lay it to the side. I've got my meter set up ready to go on microfarads. I'm going to see if I can do this with one hand. But basically, you're going to see, I'm going to put one terminal on one side. I'm going to put the other terminal on the other side. And you'll see that I have one microfarad. Okay. Now this particular capacitor right here is 45 microfarads plus or minus 5%. So this capacitor is bad. 